Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, the workforce of tomorrow is in school today, and the better prepared they are, the better off we will all be. And our guest today is Andrew Coulson. He is the president of the Education Division of the Mind Research Institute. Thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. And that's what you're all about, helping to prepare the school students today to um, excel in the workforce tomorrow. That's right. We're, we're providing a, a very innovative new kind of tool for teachers and students in public schools to teach and learn math better. Okay, so what does this new kind of tool look like? Uh, well, it's delivered by a software, so a student who's going through the regular textbook program will also, along the side, uh, play a game, uh, which is math software. And uh, what does the software do? What kind of experience would the student have with this software? Well, the software presents math in a totally different way to what they're used to, let's say, from a textbook or, or a chalkboard. It presents it as a visual game without any kind of words or equations where all of the math is animated and visually uh, moves across the screen to make sense to the students. It seems that these days education almost demands that sort of experience for a student because you know, they're very used to computer games and television and things moving and grasping their attention. Well, when you give, give them a chance to actually play and win a game at school, and if that game's about the dreaded subject of mathematics, all of a sudden something that uh, was a barrier for them be can become a strength. And we actually see that in test scores at the end of the school year. So what would an actual math lesson look like? What would that experience be like for the kid? Uh, well, perhaps they're learning about the concept of multiplying by two. And they might see an object on the screen. And uh, when it's time to multiply it by two, it animates and it actually unfolds to be twice the area. And then divide by two is just the opposite of that. So they get used to this translating between an equation and an animated visual representation of that equation. Yeah, I can see where you could use this too in sciences to describe volume or in you know, physics with the inclined plane and all of those things. When math applies to science, it makes a little more sense. That's right, that's right. If you want to become what's called a STEM professional, science, technology, engineering, math, in the future, and you want to become a scientist, then you need to understand the math deeply in order to uh, ex excel in the science. What will the sciences and technology mean to us in our economy in the future? Well, the National Science Foundation says that 80% of the jobs of the next dec decade are going to require science and math proficiency. And there, there are many people promoting that. Sally Ride, for one, saying that uh, even living wage jobs in the future are going to require this uh, math proficiency. She's, she's actually speaking at our recognition event coming up this October. That the math proficiency really is going to be a cornerstone of our education once again, but taking it even another step into the sciences. Well, math performance is in a crisis state here, and 56% uh, of kids who take Algebra 1 fail it in California at the end of the year. We need to do something different, and innovations like this are required. Now, it's also important to educate the educators about the program and to recognize the students and the educators who have seen progress in uh, this uh, mind math that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about uh, recognition coming up. Uh, well, uh, we honor uh, outstanding principals and teachers and students every year at an event. We have one coming up uh, October 8th, and uh, we'll actually, as I said, be having Sally Ride, America's first female astronaut, speak there. That's about, inspiring. Yes, very yeah. much. And so she's about girls becoming successful in science particularly and how there is no limit to the dreams that can be achieved. Yeah, you wonder if that's going to wear off, if uh, girls not excelling in math will become a thing of the past. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Well, we thank you very much for being here. Wish you a lot of success in, uh, in your program coming up in the future. Thanks. It's Andrew been my Coulson. pleasure. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN coming up right after this.